How good is this tent? We've just been relaxing. We're like set up on the beach right now. Did it at the speedway. And I seen somebody else have their rooftop tent set up. So I'm like, oh, I'll set that up for the kids. All right, just here at Toll picking up the new rooftop tent. Got the caravan and all. I guess I'm just going to put the whole box up on the roof. Uh, it is a rooftop tent. I can't really fit it in the back of the ute, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there you have it all installed. Ready to use. Huh? Professional installation. Let's go. This toll's a good toll. I like it. All right, let's go put the bloody thing on. All right, this is the rooftop tent install. Um, the San Hema Vikoff Road. Um, apparently, you can fit four people in this rooftop tent, so I'm really keen to see what that uh, ends up looking like. Um, it's currently on the roof. I just picked it up from Toll. I just I literally pulled into this campsite and someone walked up to me and was like, why have you got plastic over your rooftop tent? <laughs> That's how I travel, mate. That's how we do it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start installing that now uh, and I'll show you the bits across the road. Uh, hopefully it's easy. I'm thinking it's going to be a really easy install. It's going up there. It's going up onto the Savage roof rack. I was going to put it on the back, but I just think it's going to make more sense throwing it up on the uh, on the front roof rack and keeping the water tank on the back for me. Uh, anyway, we'll see, we'll see how this all looks. Hopefully it's hopefully it's pimp so i've taken the packaging off and of course it was the wrong way around so i'm just spinning it around at the moment a uh, bit of rubbish everywhere um, I'm, I'm hoping that there's instructions or something inside i guess i've got to open it up but there is um you can see these rails here where your bolt's going to slide through into that rail and then it must have some sort of clamp that clamps onto that roof rack um i'll show you that soon but that's what i'm sort of you know looking at now um I want to get it, I want to get it ready so Katie can get inside it. As I said, I am really hoping that the bolts are inside this thing when it opens. If, if this thing flings off, I'm going to freak out. Please don't flick off. Okay, so this is what's inside. There's our ladder. And I reckon that's a box of fitting goodies. See in the kit, you've got some brackets that go around, I guess a regular size roof rack. So we'll see how that goes with ours. Some bolts, the slide-ins that slide into your actual uh, rooftop tent rails. Um, just some hand screws. Hmm, hopefully they're strong enough. Otherwise I will throw some proper nuts on there, but we'll see how, see how tight we can get those thingies. Otherwise, like you can, check them every now and then throw some lock part maybe um but i was excited that there is some end caps because i was worried that these little rails are going to be exposed but they do have end caps that go on there anyhow i'm going to try to put some bolts in um one little funny floor i did find unfortunately well it's only because of my roof rack style underneath here in this little section is where the um the rope is that you've got to tie the rooftop tent and pull pull the rope in um, it's sitting in underneath there, so I can't actually get to it. So I don't know if I drill those out and just drill it into that or something like that to tighten it. Uh, anywho, we'll play around with it. What I was trying to show you is just under here is where you're supposed to um, put your rope through. But I've got a roof platform, so you can't get past this bar to get underneath it. Like a regular roof rack, you'd be fine. But I can't get underneath. Like, obviously, I've got a way out here now. Um, but if you had a regular roof rack without that roof rail side, like even this thing here would be perfect. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to struggle with that, unfortunately. Mm. So what I'm thinking about doing is just drilling them out and just relocating them just onto the side of this, just onto here. So then when I pull it tight, it'll just go onto that instead, possibly. We'll soon find out what I do. So my plan was definitely to put this up onto the roof here, um, but these brackets, there's no places for those brackets to go around that line up with the rails that's on it, unless I drill it all out. I'm not too sure what to do, whether I drill it or not. Fire leave me. Um, just, yeah, I don't know if you can see. That's a shame, because I really wanted that on the on the roof. Hmm. Well, unless I just drill some holes. 
Yeah, it Let's looks, see how looks it goes. like we're gonna have to go on the rack. Um, the roof rack, I don't know, it just doesn't seem strong enough to put bolts all through and I can't use these clamps on anything because it doesn't line up with anything. So we're gonna have to go onto the rack and just see how that goes. So water tank might have to go on the rear, I don't know. The water tank's gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna go get the water tank off. So that's um that's it bit back here which could be good we'll see how the water tank ends up i might put the water tank sideways across the roof um but in, anywho i did want to leave this tent at the front of the car because i would have rather the uh, the weight at the front um i don't know might have to put the water tank somewhere up here i don't know nuts. i'm just really curious to see how that's going to be how that's going to stand up Curious to see how strong that is and if that comes loose and should I lock tight it? Hmm, hmm, I should lock tight it. Um, anywho, we're, we're just putting it on the rack and it's gone on really easy now because the rack hole, there's holes all in the rack and everything just like lines up. <sighs> uh, so, I've just put a couple of these um, uh, screw nuts in here. So it's, you know, I've run, run the thing in like you're supposed to in here. And then, because I've got such a big ollie, I've just used the other one as a, as a, as a spacer. This is just for now, because um, I'll actually get in a couple more of these crossbars here. So when I get a, when, another set of that crossbar, I'm going to line it up perfectly with this. So I'm going to have probably four of those crossbars in here, just for a bit of extra strength. And I'll run one of them directly underneath this. So then I can put like as many bolts as I want to and make it just super strong. Cause I don't want one of these. I've seen videos of other people's rooftop tents falling off when they're forward driving. I don't want that. Anyway, I made a little house. I'm gonna set this tent up now and give it a crack. Hand, hand, hand tight nuts. Hmm, no, I think I'm gonna be putting some big ass bolts in this thing. I want it to be strong, baby. Well, that's, that's that set up and bolted on the car. So it all went on the Sanhima rack very easily. So they do complement each other. I'm gonna put my end caps in still. I'll do like a setup video and stuff in like a cool spot very shortly. But just coming up here into the inside. Yeah, I said, not set up yet properly. But it's a really nice wall. Everything looks pretty nice. I'm gonna show you some cool testing now. Um, whether I might just throw this video up and just say this is like for the install video and then show you the rest later. Just do a couple of videos because this is sick. It's got the moonroof too. Oh, can't wait to show you that. Ah! Uh, the kids just had a ball in there watching a movie and stuff last night. All went well. I've just refitted the water tank this way instead of long ways just to sort of, I don't know, distribute the weight right across the vehicle instead of just on one side. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to attempt to pack this thing up. This is my first time packing it up. And when I do the next video of packing up, I want you to uh, see how much better I am at it. I don't even know how to do this.
So I've had to relocate these little things. I just made like a little high tensile bolt stuff to go through. So I'll put it into the rack here somewhere. So it pulls on the rack because the original ones were directly over my rail. I can't get my hands in there, so I'm just gonna make it go directly to the rack. And I'm gonna put a lot more pressure on it. Front one, same thing. I was gonna hit that the whole time. So I'll just have to find the new little spot for that one to go to as well. So I've just added those strap down points just there. So it comes down, holds that pretty oh, firm as. Um, and just sits in under here. As I said, the standard one was right above my rail, so I couldn't get to it. Done the same thing on the front. I haven't tightened that one yet. I'm about to do that now. Um, but that's where I'll put my, uh, my strap strictly to the rail. Okay, that is officially completed. That is actually installed. I hope you can see that all right. Take a look at this. So there's the water tank now. I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to stay. And there's the tent. On top of the Vic off road rack as well. All sand hema gear. Turned out pretty good, like, even, like, I obviously had to re relocate these, I did want it up on the roof but I'm pretty happy with it there, I reckon it'll be, uh, I don't know, probably less air noise and stuff as well having that there. Water tank's on that way now so it's not got a flat surface, it's a bit more, who knows, aerodynamic, like I'm some sort of professional installation person. Anywho, let's pack up some tools. I hope you enjoyed the installation, I'm going to do some um, how to set up and how to pack up and uh, I don't know, just some, some weather reviews as well, just to show you what it's going to be like uh, in some rain, in some sun, and give it a proper proper review. Anyway, install done. Thanks for watching, guys.